My name is Evan Lockman, and I'm here today with the Braille Channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a backside axle stall. So before you start getting into this trick, you want to make sure that you're very comfortable with backside kick turns, backside slashes, and dropping in. So this is a drop in. This is kick turning, and the higher you go, once you reach coping, it'll turn into a backside slash. Knowing how to do a backside slash will guide you into learning how to do an axle stall. Before you begin axle stalling, you want to make sure you understand what's going on on the coping. So after you start out with the slash and get the back truck on the coping, you want to get your front truck on the coping on the other side. The perfect way to lock into a 50-50 grind is to be locked in barely on the back truck, so right, right next to the wheel, and on the direct opposite side diagonal to the front truck, to the back truck, to the front truck. So once you're rolling up to it, you start out similar to the slash grind, where your back truck is only slightly on the coping, and then you get your weight a little bit more on top and slam down your front truck. This right here will give you a nice stable balance. A lot of times you see beginners trying 50-50s and you see them popping up like this. You never want to do a 50-50 like this because when you come back in, you have a high chance of clipping. That's why locking in barely over your wheel on your back truck will give you a nice, smooth turn into the ramp. So you don't need a ton of speed, but you need enough speed to be able to get your body on top of the coping. Turn, smash. It's kind of a two-step process because before you smash down your front truck, you always want to make sure your back truck is in the right position because that's what's going to guide you all the way through. So lock in that back truck, stand a little on top of it, smash down that front truck for support. And once you get into this, you can really stay there for as long as you need because you're balanced, you're not leaning too far into the ramp, and you're not leaning too far out of the deck. You always want to try and get this nice, happy medium right here. Once you're feeling comfortable with your axle stalls, you'll be able to move on to a lot harder tricks like 50-50 grinds, disasters, and so much more. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 4. Very beneficial. Help you learn skating. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.